Welcome to an artist life. I live by the sea in New England, and I love to share my quiet, simple life of art and garden and home. So I hope you will feel that you can come and join me. Welcome to an artist life. Good day, everyone. Una and I are out enjoying the lovely sun and the beautiful daffs. And I've just set up for tea. And I've noticed, if you can hear in the background, someone has their speedboat out. You can tell it's getting warmer and the sea's starting to come to life. And our neighbors who are having their, our neighbors here who are having their one of their big docks remade, which they'll probably do a lovely job. They always do such good work on their things. I think they've just launched one of their motorboats and are just headed out for the first time this year. It's funny to see. So this is the first, other than the, the fishermen I see, the uh, shell fishermen who go in and out all season through the uh, channel into our little harbor. Uh, this is the first time seeing an actual little boat from a neighbor going through. So with our tea and Una just having a lovely little stroll about, she likes to fluff about and play in the, uh, the grass whilst I have my morning tea. Well, I should say it's more like afternoon to me now. I get up quite early and it's gone probably half 10 now in the morning. So, but uh, today's vlog is just going to be a short one. <laughs> yes, I know Una going to be a short one and uh, probably just an odd mix of things. Today is definitely a stay-at-home sort of day. No outings for us today, no to-doing, no errands, just a warm afternoon to play in the garden and to play inside. So um, I think maybe I'll uh, just show you some artwork I've done previously. Oh, I'm not sure if this is picking up, but if you can see there's a big ship out at sea. Gosh, the sea is full of life today. See the big ship out at sea? See how high it's setting above the water? And can you see the smoke billowing out? Gosh, that's a lot of smoke. I hope that's showing up. It's so lovely and bright out, it's hard for me to see in the, uh, the camera's monitor. Oh, and then of course you'll hear the hullabaloo and hubbub of construction, which of course I wish it were construction for us, but no. As I said, it's just the neighbors, they have their workmen out sawing and preparing their new dock. So today is just going to be a stay-at-home day. I'll do a little bit of gardening, some drawing. Una and I will enjoy playing about in the tall grass, which is just ready to be mowed probably tomorrow. I think my hubby <laughs> said he's going to uh, get our mower out for the first time tomorrow and work on the grass. I know Una. And uh, this is just going to be one of those days. So let's look at some artwork and just enjoy the peace and serenity of a warm spring New England day. Just thought we'd pop into the plant room just to show that last time on the vlog I did this lovely succulent and begonia arrangement and I put it in our new little corner cabinet but I actually really prefer it on our tea trolley we got at the antique shop with the hedgehog and the seashell. Don't you think it looks much nicer there and you can see just the corner of the uh, the neo-gothic chair and I still have my grapes to plant outside but what I did notice is what I like in the corner cabinet we put in is I put my planter, which you'll recall I did earlier in the season. I even planted bulbs in there, but I've already cut the flower, the daffs bloomed heavens weeks ago and I used them in an arrangement. But I still have the hookara and the uh, dusty miller, which is getting quite leggy, but it's quite enjoying itself. But I'm going to put these out in the garden 
this weekend and I really like the way that this planter looks here so I think I'm going to use this planter to put some pretty house plants in because don't you think that planter looks best with that corner cabinet see that's there and then here we have our sweet little fairy garden with our little fox and then uh, the plant at the top so then we can start thinking about if we want to do the uh, pretty green on this wall Gosh, looking out the window of the uh, plant room, can you see that ship through the, the fogged windows? The ship is getting closer. Maybe let's pop outside really quick and we'll go take a look at that. Gosh, of course our tea is probably getting cold, but I just want you to see the ship out at sea. And if you can see that little bit of stripe of white off this direction, that's our neighbors heading out into the open sea with their boat first time for the season. It's happy. And uh, look at how big the ship seems as it gets closer. And look at the big billowy smoke coming out. Huh. Gosh, the sea's busy today. It's the perfect time to sit out and have a quick or possibly a more leisurely cup of tea. And then, as I said for today's vlog, I think I'll just share some artwork I'm going to start some new artwork today. It's that type of stay home, work on your artwork type of day. But I think t for today's video, just because I would like to get it out, is I'm going to share uh, maybe just one or two pieces of art I've done previously. But I just wanted to make sure, as I noticed from the plant room, the ship, I always forget how big they seem as they get closer and closer. The smoke coming out. But before we uh, do that, I'm going to sit here pour out a cup of tea and watch the ship, listen to the birds and the waves, and then we can get back to work. Just a stay at home kind of day. So let's look at some of my black and white drawings and uh, I can't remember if I shared any of my black and white sketches but I love to do um, a, a style that I have in black and white and uh, these were from my uh, Witch and Familiar series which I did during Inktober of 2018 and as we look at them I figured I'd I set the camera out and got some uh, footage of my teapot and my plant out with the sea view so besides looking at the art I've done I figured if anyone wanted to pause when the image is away they could always uh, sketch from my view if that seemed like something fun or artistic to do all right, let's start with this lady here, the first witch, and her familiars are a lovely heron and a fat little tabby cat. Next, I'll share two more in my black and white witch series. These two are a bit more tongue-in-cheek or have a little bit more humor in them. The first being uh, this one here with a, a witch with her sleepy self and her sleepy greyhound, and they are magicking up some mana or their version of coffee which I think is kind of fun. And I've actually put this one on my Etsy site, which I'm going to slowly be adding more images to my Etsy site, which I'm going to use specifically for digital downloads because uh, I find it's uh, quite nice for people to have access to digital art. They can download it and use it for stickers or for printing out as a print to hang up or to have printed on things or even just to use as art um, online as we all do live our lives quite a bit online so I'll put my uh, site here that's on my Etsy site now the second uh, which is kind of the humorous version of my black and white witch series is uh, this lady here she and her familiar are busy at work trying to garner some more ink so they can inscribe more spells into their spell book Again, a little tongue-in-cheek, um, and I may make these other two available on my Etsy site as well. Uh, if anyone would think that's of interest, just let me know in the comments. Um, but yes, I haven't shared uh, much of my black and white, but this is a style I really do. Um, I really love doing my black and white. I love to uh, sketch first, roughly finding the shadow and light, and then I go in and I only, basically I'm just drawing with black and letting the white of the page be uh, anything that isn't shadow and let that shape just tell the story. 
So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of uh, me sharing my fun black and white um, drawings in my witch series. I have quite a few actually. I did it for Inktober in 2018, so I think I had, uh, if I was good enough and did every day, I believe I had about 31, one for each day, but there may have been a couple of days because I was actually traveling to uh, England that year, so it was some things I had to do in the airport. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed that little bit of art today. So, uh, and I hope you're enjoying the view, which I've left here uh, so you can see. If anyone wanted to pause and stop and have an afternoon of sketching, this little bit of video here is good because um, I did set the camera up with my coffee and my planter out today just to kind of capture the, uh, the view in case someone wanted to sit and sketch and pause and sketch the view. I thought that would be fun. Well, in typical New England weather, the wind picked up, and as I was sitting and having some tea as I was drawing, uh, the busyness of the sea continued, and I caught with my camera at the window here one of the locals playing with their kite surf. So it's that kind of stay inside, lovely, quiet day today. And I hope you enjoyed today's rather low, slow-paced vlog and that you enjoyed my black and white artwork and I'm hoping to share more vlogs probably similar to this shorter just daily life more frequently but we shall see uh, until then remember to uh, like and subscribe and I shall see you in the comments and in the chats and remember stay creative cheers